I'm pretty sure I've always wanted to be a mom. And then we were blessed with my beautiful son, Gregory. I had the opportunity to stay home with him and be a stay-at-home mom, and I took it. Three years later, we had our second son, Isaac. And while now we have twice the love, there's also twice the work. I'm lucky that I'm able to stay home and raise my sons. Between potty training, the blowouts, and the tantrums, it is hard to stay positive as a stay-at-home mom. They have a name for it even, it's called Mom Burnout. So here are three ways that you, Mama, can, can deal with Mom Burnout. Number one, have a hobby that has nothing to do with your kids. My hobby is this YouTube channel. Take care of yourself now so you can take care of yourself later. Number two, listen to some of your favorite music while you work. Relaxing and enjoying the music and just zoning out and folding clothes or washing dishes, whatever I need to do. Number three, get off social media. When I, as a stay-at-home mom, feel a lot of negativity, it's never from other people. It's never other people telling me that I'm not good, doing good enough. It's always from myself. It's always me seeing how somebody else is parenting and feeling like I am not enough. So I found that I have had to have a hiatus from social media whenever I get overwhelmed. I will delete my Instagram, delete my Facebook page. I haven't had Snapchat in years. I just, I can't handle it. Number four, get a babysitter. Even if it's for an hour or two, just to get away for a while can be a big difference. Number five, have an adult conversation. Have an adult conversation. Whether it's with your spouse or another friend, have a conversation with someone that won't end up with that person puking on you or you grounding them. It's important for your sanity. So remember, stay-at-home moms, feeling burnout is totally normal and it's okay to feel it. That doesn't make you a bad mom. Having a bad day does not make you a bad mom. And making a mistake does not make you a bad mom. And guess what? Getting irritated at your kids does not mean that you're a bad mom. Remember that your kids do not need a perfect mom. They need you. They need their mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Comment down below and tell me how you deal with mom burnout. Share this to your Facebook page so that way other moms with burnout don't feel alone. And subscribe for next week's video. Hey guys, I'm right in the middle of finishing editing this video and I realized that I didn't tell you guys about next week's video. I'm so excited about this one. I'm gonna sit down and interview my husband who was the sexy man you guys just saw earlier in this video. And we're gonna talk about how Dave Ramsey changed our marriage. My name is Ray with Positively Ray and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye. And now, the bloopers. Grigori. Shush. They're called filth. They are called filter. They are called. I thought that when I had my son. When I had my son. <laughs> when I had Gregory. I thought that only bad moms got irritated at, at their kids. But now I realize that it's actually. The, the, the sane ones yeah, yeah. who get irritated yeah, yeah. at their kids. Because yeah, yeah. if you yeah, yeah. deal with this yeah, yeah. all day yeah, yeah. and don't get irritated, yeah, yeah. you're insane! <sighs> ah! Click here to watch these videos and don't forget to subscribe. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram at Positively Ray. Thanks guys, have a good day.